Hello and welcome Aries, and here are your cards for this week. Death, Reverse the Fight, The Shot, The Create, Reverse the Return, and The Sleep. All right, Aries, my friends. So you, you have the death card here in your spread. I know that a lot of people fear this card because they think that this card signifies an actual death, but that is not the case. So the death card here in your spread, it is not saying anything about an actual death, but it's telling about an end to an end to a chapter in your life. And this marks the beginning of a new chapter. Just like how there can be no rebirth if there is no death. You know, from ashes, a phoenix rises again. Or like just how like how plants can um, can flourish from the decay of other plants. It gives them life. So when there's an end to something, it's because the universe is making way for a new beginning. So think of it, think of this card as a signifier that a chapter is about to end in your life. And that is a good thing because here with your tarot, with your cloak card spread, the reverse of the fight here in your spread, this is signifying that you have been, you have been through something and you won. There was a victory that had, um, that you had. However, this victory came at such a great cost. It came at a uh, cost of your peace of mind. You have been battling some sort of indecisiveness and, and this indecisiveness, it was holding you back from something so great. But the decision that you made, right? It costs a lot of your energy, a lot of your inner peace. But because you finally chose something, you finally stop being indecisive about what you wanted. That brought an end to a chapter in your life. I cannot tell for certain what uh, you were fighting. It seems like you were trying to to decide what kind of what path you should take regarding your finances. I can feel that this is about a uh, sort of finances and you've been having some financial issues. So I can see that if you haven't already done so, if you haven't already decided, if you have not made any decisions at all, this is the right time to make that decision, right? And make sure that your decision <laughs> decision is based on on facts, okay? Don't just don't use your feelings to um to decide, but think really hard, right? Think about all the options laid out before you and choose the the smart one. Choose the smartest uh, path. Because this decision, right, this will dictate whether your life will keep going the way it is going right now, or will it change for the better? Because I can see here with your middle card here, the create, that is your power. You have the power in your hands to decide whether your life will be, you know, as it is, or it, if it will improve. You have the power. It is not, this decision is not up to anybody, you know, like all the options, you have a lot of options laid out before you, you have a lot of possibilities laid out before you, you just need to make that right one and things will go from there, right? You're not waiting for anything. I can tell that you are not waiting for an outside help because it's totally up to you to, to change the trajectory of your life. No one else is in control of your life, right? Because I know there are problems that cannot be avoided, right? Things that are outside of our control. And you know, those things that we just have to learn how to um, react to. But I can see that from your reading that the power to decide what kind of life you'll have, it's in your hands. You can t totally do something about it, right? And here, the cards is advising you, right? You've already, you've already experienced something similar to what you're experiencing now. It may not have been, you know, as big as it is right now. I cannot tell for certain, but I can definitely tell that you've been through this situation before. Or someone you know 
have been through this situation before, right? You're not facing whatever this is that you're facing for the first time. So all you have to do is remember. Remember how you overcame this obstacle before. Remember how the person that you know who've been through this situation before have overcome this obstacle. How, right? You just have to remember that, my friends. This spread, right? It wants you to finally make that decision. How are you going to handle your finances? What kind of savings, what kind of ways are you going to, to choose in order to overcome these financial issues that you are having right now? And the sleep card here in your last card, this is a promise to you, right? It is a promise that no one else, right? No one else holds your peace of mind. It is you who holds that power. So it's such a wonderful, uh, wonderful promise to know that no one else has this power over you, but just your own. You hold the key to your happiness or you hold the key to your own downfall. So my friends, this week, focus on what you want to get in the future because that will help you map out your trajectory. It will help you map out the path, right? It will dictate, it will help you decide which path to choose, right? Because this decision, like I said from the beginning, will mark an end, right, to this chapter in your life. If you have been having any sort of financial issues or any sort of issues in your life, right, you have the power to end it. All right, my friends, if this reading resonated with you, so consider subscribing so you won't miss next week's reading. All right, my friends, I'll see you next week.